me clearly, America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an update on Daniel Penny. Guess what they did? They raised $1 million in crowd funding for Daniel Penny. Oh, and, a, and according to Tim Scott, America is not a racist country. <laughs> I would like to thank one of my subscribers, Jay Herdell Hall, for this story. And I'm not surprised. Y'all remember George Zimmerman. They were killing each other to go over there and donate for him. So this is just further proof further proof that nothing has changed in America in regards to racism. Nothing has changed. We're just in a different era, but the attitudes are the same as their forefathers had. So that's what them folks are showing you. Daniel Penny crowdsource defense funds nears $1 million as Ron DeSantis, that's why I drag him in videos, Ron DeSantis throws support behind the man who choked and murdered Jordan Neely to death. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tim Scott. All right, so supporters are raising defense funds for Daniel Penny, the man who is charged for murdering Jordan Neely on a New York City subway. Penny is facing manslaughter charges, which it should be murder charges, um, you know, for killing 30-year-old Neely, a homeless man. A lawyer for Neely's family, meanwhile, says the charge should be murder instead of manslaughter exactly. That's what I'm saying. Top conservatives are celebrating. Celebrating. Do y'all remember when it was still Black History Month and I did a video showing y'all how when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was killed, these folks were elated. They were gleeful. They were breaking out in celebration all over the country. But every time we say something, in regards to racism, one of them try to rear their head to bring up Dr. Martin Luther King. Never ever let them get away with that. So they are celebrating and, you know, they're raising this money and they're calling Daniel Penny a good Samaritan. So that's what, uh, you know, um, a murderer is a good Samaritan. I mean, look, America is all about murder. This country is the embodiment of murder. Everything about it from start to finish is about murder. So, yeah, so they think it's a good thing. They thought it was a good thing to commit genocide, and they thought it was a good thing to do all those lynchings. So why would anybody think it would be any less of a good thing to them over Jordan Neely? I'm just saying so on Twitter, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, or some people say uh, DeSatan, as a possible 2024, remember he can't even get anybody to endorse him from Washington, D.C., urge followers to donate to Penny's fundraiser to stop the left pro-criminal agenda and take back the streets for law-abiding citizens. <laughs> well. Ladies and gentlemen, we know where he stands. I mean, this man is actively trying to wipe out any traces of our history. So there you go. Nobody should be shocked over this. All right. I don't know what the murder got to do with being on the left or being on the right, but okay, this is what he's claiming. With uh, Stan, with good Samaritans like Daniel Penny, Let's show this Marine America got his back. This is what a DeSatan said in a tweet. 
So the online fundraiser for Penny's legal fees run by his attorney, Stephen Reiser, and Thomas Kenneff has surpassed $1 million as of this publication. So the fundraiser describes Penny as a college student and a decorated Marine veteran who was facing criminal charges for protecting individuals on a subway train from an assailant who later died, an assailant that was saying he was hungry. Yeah, you you really saved some lives. So anyway, moving on, the assailant who later died is Jordan Neely, a 30-year-old homeless man who was behaving erratically. Well, a lot of people that are homeless do that. You know, um, and not, you know, they never look at the root cause to why they're homeless in the first place. So anyway, um, this happened on May 1st when Penny placed him in a chokehold. He came up from behind him, but he was such a threat. You had to come up from behind him. So anyway, while Neely's behavior alarmed some passengers, other eyewitnesses told the New York Times that Neely never tried to assault anyone on the subway train. No evidence has yet surfaced that Neely physically attacked anyone on the subway train. In fact, on the video, they're telling um, Daniel Penny to stop, to stop, let him go. Okay, so the office of the Manhattan District Attorney's Office charged Penny with second degree manslaughter, which I don't believe is the right charge. I still say that. The case has divided New Yorkers who are grappling with the rise in crime in New York City subway system. There have been multiple protests since the incident in support of Neely, who many see as a victim of the New York City's lackluster effort to address homelessness and mental health. Yeah, and they're right about that. They're doing more for immigrants than they are for the homeless on the street with mental health issues. That is the absolute truth. The National Police Association and Advocacy Group representing cops call Penny, the New York subway Good Samaritan on Twitter, Uh, And, you know, and that right there just goes to show you how NYPD is very unprofessional. You know, if you were a good police department, you wouldn't be taking sides at all. You know, so what whatever happened to y'all running around saying that BS about the system working? Okay, so anyway, I think that's very unprofessional, adding that Alvin Bragg, the district attorney, has stopped Good Samaritans from stopping criminals. The National Police Association also linked to Penny's fundraiser. So in other words, the NYPD also gave a contribution to Penny's um, fundraiser, which is very inappropriate. Again, very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. So if convicted, Penny faces up to 15 years in prison. Uh, Lennon Edwards, an attorney for Neely's family, argued that Penny should be charged with murder, not manslaughter. There's a lot of people that agree with him. Um, Justice looked like a conviction for murder, Edwards said in a press conference following the announcement of Penny's charges. He chose to continue to hold that chokehold minute after minute, second after second, until there was no life left in Jordan Neely. So y'all tell me what you think. And this is not the first time. And and they've been doing a lot of this behind the scenes. You know, killing a black man nets you a lot of money in America. You know, and yeah, they'll they'll still raise money, but they kind of go underground instead of putting it all out there in the public, you know, like they have before in the past. So Please tell me what you think about this story. Again, this is just more evidence of how racist America truly is. And, you know, every now and then I'll get all the, I'll get two and three people unsubscribing because I say these things and I say good riddance to you. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.
family.